They call me Cruise Man. I've put more than 150,000 miles on Honda Goldwings, riding all over this amazing country. Thousands of Goldwing owners have used my videos to guide them when working on their own bikes or considering which aftermarket products to purchase. I love riding and wrenching. These are my motovlogs. Hello YouTube, Cruise Man out on the 2018 Goldwing for a Saturday morning ride. Want to take a little time and check in with you. It's been a, well, maybe about 10 days since I posted a motovlog. So I thought, you know, hey, maybe I need to get out and take a ride. The weather's beautiful and it's cool this morning. It's about 75 degrees. Traffic's not terribly bad on Saturday morning. So I just thought I would uh, drop in on you a little bit and say hi and let you know all the stuff that's going on. For those of you who subscribe to my YouTube channel, you probably noticed I've been posting a bunch of uh, base camp tutorials. I use base camp to lay out routes when I do a road trip. And I've been using it for years. I bet I've been using it more than 10 years. And they used to have a program before base camp. I can't remember what it was called. Some of you, if you remember what the old version of the Garmin map program was called, put it in the comments down below because I can't seem to remember the name of it. I like to have a GPS kind of tell me when I'm on a road trip, I like to know how far I am from the next town or the next waypoint or how far it is to get gas. And so I use a lot of waypoints and I also use the waypoints to shape my route because I don't particularly like riding on interstates. I like riding on the back roads. And the only way to really do that if you're using a GPS is to create your own route and use waypoints to shape that route. To basically override the natural tendencies of a GPS which is to get you to your destination as quickly as possible. Well I'm not interested in quick, I'm interested in curves and roads and scenery and all the things I bought a motorcycle for. So check out the base camp tutorial series if you use a GPS when you're on a road trip or if you use Basecamp or would like to use Basecamp, check it out. It's a free software. You can also use Basecamp to create routes for your non-Garmin GPS because it will export a standard GPX file. I say standard because there is not a real firm standard on GPX files. There is a way you can get a route from Basecamp into the Honda navigation system on the 2018 Goldwing. But the 2018 Goldwing doesn't take advantage of all the information that's in that GPX file. Which is kind of disappointing. So, the Garmin, the reason I got the Garmin Zumo is because it's just a more robust system. It's a much better GPS gives me a lot more information. It kind of alerts me when I'm coming up on a school zone. It alerts me uh, if I'm coming up on curvy roads. Or, you know, it just it has a lot of built-in features that you don't get with the Honda navigation system. It's kind of kind of sad that on a motorcycle this expensive, that Honda kind of went cheap on the navigation part. But they kind of went cheap on the whole audio system actually. Um, even though I don't think I mentioned it in my one year review, one of my big disappointments is just in the overall audio system as far as AM FM reception. The AM FM reception on this motorcycle is as bad as I've ever seen. And I still struggle with volume levels. Uh, I have a Cardo Pack Talk Bolt that I'm using right now. I also have a Cena 20S that I use from time to time. But I have to crank my volume up on the uh, Goldwing to like level 20 just to be able to hear AM or FM. Now XM radio is better. I do get better output on XM for some reason. But that's just a little shortcoming. I wish Honda could fix that or address it, but who knows. If you like this video and other videos I've done, please give me a thumbs up and take a second to click that little subscribe button down below. 
And if you click on the little bell icon, yeah, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos, like my Basecamp tutorial videos. Now, I also completed my helmet review video of this new HJC IS Max 2 helmet, which I'm wearing right now. And now that I've had it for probably an extra 10 days since I did the review, it's getting broken in really nice. It's actually becoming fairly comfortable helmet. It's uh, One thing I do love about it is it's very light. It's much lighter. I think it's 3.8 pounds, and I'd have to go up and look up the statistics on my old Cymax 3. But it feels lighter. One downside, though, which I was kind of surprised about, there's no way I can get this helmet to fit inside the trunk of the Goldwing with the Bluetooth headset installed. I have to take off the Bluetooth headset. The only way to get the trunk to shut is to lay this helmet on its side. And if the Bluetooth headset's installed, it's simply too tall. The trunk will not close. So I have to remove the Bluetooth headset every time I close the trunk, which is kind of a pain in the butt. I did not have to do that on the Cymax 3. I could get the trunk to close. So this, this shell must be just slightly wider and maybe even a little taller because it, you know, I could close the Cymax 3 in the trunk standing up. It could stand up on its, you know, on the end and I could get it to shut, but not anymore, not with this helmet. You know, once again, why Honda? <laughs> all they needed was another half an inch all the way around and helmets would have fit no problem. And it would not have screwed up the design of the motorcycle. It just nobody's thinking there at Honda when they did this. New videos for the 2018 plus Goldwing series for those of you that have that uh, video series. We've added two new videos, one for spark plug replacement and one to change the coolant. We're now up to 50 videos in the series. For those of you that purchased the series early on, uh, you only got 32 videos in January. Now we're up to 50 and of course if you buy the videos you get the updates and the new new uh, videos for free before too long I'll be doing another oil change and I'm going to reshoot the oil change video because there's a couple of things I want to mention that did not get mentioned in the first oil change video so we'll add that to the video and we've got a couple other videos coming up in the series pretty soon so check out my 2018 plus Goldwing maintenance videos. We say that if you do all of the annual maintenance we recommend, you'll save over a thousand dollars a year in dealer maintenance and I'm sorry, dealer labor charges just by doing the work yourself. And the videos will more than pay for themselves just in the first couple of things you do on the bike yourself. We also started a new Facebook group to support those of you that have the video series or either either my 2001 through 2017 videos or the 2018 plus videos. We now have a new Facebook maintenance, Honda Goldwing maintenance group. I'll put the URL or the link on the screen and in the description of this video, check it out. You're welcome to come by and even if you don't own my videos, you can still be a part of the group if you're interested in maintaining your own Goldwing. Now you have to have a Goldwing to be a part of the group. And as long as you're interested in working on your own bike or finding out that kind of information, you're welcome to join. And I think we've had over 320 some new people join the group just in the last couple of weeks. So. It's growing very rapidly. So there's a lot of cool stuff going on. Cruise Man's Garage. And uh, I'm going to do some rewiring of my accessories. And I'm going to shoot some pictures and videos of what I'm doing. And explain to you why I'm doing it. That'll be out fairly soon. So keep an eye out on Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel. Lots of good stuff happening. Thanks again for joining us today on Cruise Man's Garage Motive Locks.